Hello, Pretty Soul Gang. This is the Pretty Culture Oracles here, and I'm coming to do the reading for Scorpio, the general reading for Scorpio. Um, it could be anywhere in your chart, and it is for the weeks of March 17th through the 31st. So I'm going to hop into the reading, you guys. Um, this right here is going to be the past or what will have already occurred by the time things start to resonate for you guys, whether it's when you see the reading or after you watch the reading this is going to be um the most recent past energy this middle energy is going to be the current or the present energies um however they may resonate for you and then this last card here is the most likely outcome for the highest good of scorpio and all who are connected to scorpio okay so we're going to hop into the reading for you guys before i do i wanted to let you guys know about this frankincense and myrrh body mist um, I use this both as something to spray on me and just to cleanse the energy of a room or, you know, to reshift the atmosphere because that is what frankincense and myrrh has the capabilities of doing, which I've already done this when I started reading this writing. I love the scent and I'll put information about um, where you can order this. OK. All right. Moving on, guys. So Scorpio. According to the Illuminated Tarot deck, the two cards that came out for you talking about the energy that will have already transpired um, for those who this may resonate with. We got the Fool card or the Joker, and then we got the Ten of Diamonds, which is the equivalent of the Ten of Pentacles. OK, so first of all, the Fool or the Joker reminds me of just a new beginning. Somebody is getting ready to go ahead and take a risk and what they're taking a risk for or a leap of faith or whatever for is this family that they love and that they know that they have and they want the real deal, not something fake. OK, so that's already good energy for me, for you guys. Someone I feel like is going to choose real love over illusion. OK, or something that wasn't real, something that was fake. Something that was just an image, keeping up a facade, okay? Also, if it wasn't about fakery versus what is real, it could be about the fact that somebody could be playing it safe to themselves right now, even though it's taking them away from what they really, really have always desired to have. And that's a family where there's real freaking love, okay? Not something toxic, not just something that's familiar and makes sense, okay? <clears throat> And when I say make sense, I don't mean like stuff not supposed to make sense, but I feel like it's like a toxic making sense. So it's like because you're familiar with this type of mistreatment or um, um, a tumultuous relationship, that type of energy makes sense to you. And so that's why you move toward it. Just to be clear, present energy, when this will resonate for you and all that kind of good stuff, we got the queen of hearts and we've got the six of cups. First of all, when I saw this, I was like, oh, this is definitely heavy, heavy love energy. OK, but the queen of hearts, this is all about going from the un. this is about not even going from this is more so about integrating the spiritual as well as the physical, integrating the tangible and the physical when it comes to matters of the heart or the emotions. OK, the, the six of hearts is the equivalent to the lovers in this deck. So what that tells me is that uh, Scorpio, you are about to do something that is going to cause you to actually you're going to choose union. That's I mean, like that's that's what I hear. That's what I have. That's what I'm feeling heavy, especially with this full energy and this 10 of pentacles. I feel like you are about to choose love choose union choose faith over fear goddamn and that makes me happy that makes me absolutely happy i don't even have to clarify this this is sure information for me now i'm still gonna do it for my people who might want to know but i'm telling y'all like i feel this so strong like some of you guys if you're not there yet you this is on your mind heavy 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 okay Last but not least, the outcome that'll be for the highest good of all that's involved, Scorpio, including, of course, you, is the three of diamonds. So first of all, this is a lot of very tangible energy. That's what the diamonds represent or the pinnacles. It represents what we can taste, touch, see, smell, hear, yada, yada, yada. What's right here? What's in the physical realm? OK, not just spiritual, not just our dreams, not just our desires and hopes, but it manifested. OK, so this is manifestation here. 
With this being the three of diamonds, this talks about cooperation, okay, collaboration. It can also indicate that there's a lot of admiration in the connection as well. And I think that that's beautiful. What I'm feeling more so is like this is coming from just being in your brain about the idea of reunion with someone whom you truly love and you want to have a family with if you do not already have a family, okay? Um, this is about possibly building a union that is going to be sure that'll stand the test of time between you two. Shit, the fact that you guys have already come back together will indicate that you guys' love stood the test of time. And that's going to be beautiful. That's something to be admired. So let's hop into clarifying sphere. Why is the Joker? And let's make these quick and sure and to the point. Quick strokes of truth. Why is the Joker in the Ten of Pentacles here? For Scorpio. Thank you in advance for answering our questions. It's time. It's an awakening. It's time. You know what you want. It's no doubt. It's, it's an alarm clock being sounded. Emperor energy. Taking back control of your life, man. That's a masculine energy, okay? It could be a male or a female. That's Aries or Taurus energy. Fear one more. The magician. The magician. It tried to come up in the reverse. So for some of you guys, maybe you could be fearful. Maybe you could still be in a connection where you're manipulating and you're lying and all that kind of stuff. For others of you, because I chose to turn it upright before I really took it out of the deck. Um, some of you guys could be on the up and up. You're manifesting the appropriate way. You're not being manipulative. You're not lying. You're not misusing the elements, okay, which are um, the spirit, feelings, and emotions, uh, logic and reason, actions, passion, sex, and you are also um, not just taking things and making things happen, okay, out of just chaos and shit. You are... For some of you guys, you are being very clear about what you want and you are strategically and purposely moving towards this energy, okay? Yeah, at the bottom of the deck, I get the eight of cups. So I feel like you are going to walk away from something in order to manifest this union. Queen of hearts and the six of hearts, which is the lover's energy. Spirit, come on, talk to me. Let's make it quick for Scorpio. Let's get this over with. And they're cross watchers. Congratulations to you guys. Congratulations. The hermit. Somebody was in the dark night of the soul. Somebody could have Virgo in their chart in a very influential place, but y'all went through. Y'all went within. If this hasn't happened, this is what's currently going on right now. There's a breakdown, okay, that is happening. Whether people feel it or not, there could be some sadness. There could be some remorse about, you know, not choosing your partner, not choosing your divine love in the first place, okay? Or there could just simply be some regret about the toxic situation that you may currently find yourself in when all you really, really wanted was the Ten of Cups. But instead, in order to get to this Ten of Cups, now there's going to have to be this major ass ending. There's going to have to be this tower moment. But you know, it makes sense because I also feel like for some of you guys, there was already a tower moment that affected your happiness in the first place. So it almost seems like it's only fitting that to bring something full circle to start anew would be another tower moment. Another tower moment to info to bring this in to usher this in. So that's what I got with that. Let's go ahead and clarify this three of. Yeah, man. Come on, man. This is crazy. These just fell out of the deck. Okay. This is the Ace of Wands, the Hierophant, and the Knight of Cups. This is to me, Scorpio, a male Scorpio, or a female. It doesn't matter. Who what however this resonates for you, whatever gender you are male or female, baby, you are coming back quickly. You are getting in touch with your feelings. You're going to be talking. You're going to let your wife or your husband, for that matter, because that's what the Hierophant to me tends to represent, or a committed partner. You're about to let them know how you feel. You're about to let them know that you want to start anew with them. Some of y'all are highly sexual for some reason as well at this time, or, the, or at least this connection makes you that way. And now you are being very decisive in the king of swords energy, okay? To, um, Scorpio, I was about to say Taurus, but anyways, but that's because some of you guys could be dealing with a Taurus, but that's just because the Hierophant represents Taurus to me, king of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, the Ace of Wands represents Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, and that cups is Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. The devil can indicate Capricorn being in someone's chart as well. The tower is Aries and or Scorpio energy for me. The fool represents Aries or Sagittarius for me. 
And the magician also represents Aries. But yeah, you guys, that has been your God dog on reading. Wow, such an amazing, amazing energy. I feel like a lot of you guys are going through an awakening, okay? There is a new day approaching for you. You're turning over this new ass leaf, okay? You are making a decision to choose love, and that's a beautiful thing. So I hope and pray that something resonated with you, Scorpio, okay? Um, if you'd ever like to book a private reading in regards to going a little bit deeper with this, or you just want to book your own reading, then you could do so at the prettycoachoracles.com. Bye you guys.